After a decade of debate and deliberation, the Campbell government's making a power play, the likes of which has not been seen in British Columbia in nearly 50 years. The province says it's planning to spend $6.5 billion to build a new hydroelectric dam that will power as many as a half million homes over the next century. It sounds like it might be a good idea. So why are so many people opposed? A News Legislature reporter Shachi Curl has the story. Tucked up in the northeast corner of the province, not far from Fort St. John and really far away from the island, is a piece of land that could change the power landscape for all of B.C. It's Site C, the place where a massive hydroelectric dam first suggested more than 40 years ago could become reality if the Campbell government gets its way. I am pleased to announce that the Site C Clean Energy Project will be moving to the third stage so we can build a future 50 years that reflects the last 50 years in British Columbia. That means the proposed mega dam, the last on BC's Peace River, will now be reviewed with a critical eye on its environmental impact and on what local people think about it. But there's big pushback on both fronts. Building the dam would mean flooding out 54 square kilometers, some of it in the agricultural land reserve. Animals move back and forth, birds do. There's islands in the river that the ungulates like moose and deer breed on to keep their calves away from the wolves there. And locals don't like the project much either. 50 people met the Premier at the airport in Hudson's Hope this morning, telling him to take his dam and dump it. Still, Gordon Campbell says the dam, once it's up and running 10 years from now, will generate enough clean energy to power 410,000 homes, that it will make BC self-sufficient on the energy front, and that it will bring economic boom times. About 35,000 jobs across the north, direct and indirect jobs, will be created as we move forward to develop uh, Site C. Critics aren't dumping cold water on the dam itself, but say the huge costs and the lack of a long-term energy plan leave them cold. They're saying, what, five and a half, six and a half billion, and I mean, people in the past have projected ten. And that's a huge amount of money when you think about what you might do with systems that don't have the same amount of impact, like more wind, maybe some marine stuff, you know, wave power, tidal power. The opposition New Democrats say they don't like the project, but they reserve the right today to change their minds later. The party has historically been opposed to Site C. We continue to be opposed. We don't believe we need the power at this time. Uh, if uh, this environmental assessment can demonstrate that there is a minimal environmental impact, then I think we would per perhaps change our position. Haters and lovers alike will have lots of time to argue that independent environmental review is expected to take years. In Victoria, Shachi Curl, A News.